Hi, let's do today the last uh, section of my general review. Today we'll do the gold. You can find already on my YouTube channel the review for the beginner intermediate tier. Uh, as usual, I do not recommend to invest in any infantry general, especially because here you have already Nicholas for zero coins and also you have, where is the guy? Yes, here you have Ulysses Grant. These two, Ulysses Grant on top, look at that, 70 abilities of general with the level of prince. And uh, Nicholas I is even an uh, emperor. Remember, the title gives you high abilities of general and defenses. It's already a 70, no need more. Let's talk cavalry. So, on cavalry, there are uh, five uh, options for the gold. Molke. Check first at the bottom of the screen, the number zero. That's already a reason to get it. You unlock it by advancing in the campaign modes, and you get a general with a 70 abilities, a 52 cavalry, which of course you can boost with the items close to the 90 or even 100. He gets up to prince, which is not great, but it's okay, and he's already a colonel. Again, because he's free, why not? So it's a good gold to have. He has a precision strike and surprise attack, which is not very useful, but what is useful is the counter attack, five additional damage. Okay, so not my favorite, but useful. Then this is my star. So that's, in my view, it's the best general in the game, excluding Lunderdorf, of course. Uh, Stonewall Jackson, he has, uh, um, again, three. First of all, it costs zero. And he starts with the 77 abilities in general. It's a bit low on the cavalry ability, but you can boost it again with items. He has already two items slot available. And check this out. He can go all the way up to Emperor, so his ability of general gets 120, 130. And he's already a general, so he has already a high rank. Okay, the rank, as a reminder, impact your HP, the additional health. And then, what does he have? Riding Master, Station, which is uh, useful, but the best is this one, the Tactic Master. He gets a second attack, which is great. And then he has a benefit to edge against infantry and jungle fighting, which is not very useful. So, get him. And also, you are unlocking very early in the game. I think you unlock it in the North American um, scenario. So, useful to have. Then, uh, Joffre is uh, great because he has one of the highest cavalry ability, 61, before items. 65 ability of general. He can go up to Prince, so we're talking 100, and a colonel. Also, Joffre has a riding master and station as well. The maneuver not very useful. He has also edge and plane fighting. But the other advantage of Joffre is that uh, you will have it in a couple of history mode missions, some of the most difficult ones toward the end, including the Battle of the Marne. So that itself, it's worth to have him. And then you have Stepanovich, which has an ability of General 85, and combined with the title, that can go all the way up to Prince, so that means a lot, a lot of abilities of General. On top of decent cavalry abilities, the rank is colonel, but the strengths are not very useful. You have okay precision strike and tactic master, the other three are not useful. And he is also in history mode. Then Plumer, so Plumer has 80 abilities, and the more you go up, of course, the abilities of general increase. Only 50 for cavalry, <clears throat> and he can go up to king, which is one rank below emperor, so it's okay. He has a riding master, cavalry master, and edge against artillery alert. So he's a solid general, but also for this money, only one uh, um, item slot open, so you need to upgrade him to get the second one <clears throat> to general. So I not my favorite, if I have to say. If I if I have to choose, I will do Joffre, Jackson, Malta. 
these three. Artillery. So we have a four golden general, <coughs> Prince Leopold. It costs 700, so almost as much as the, the guys we saw in the cavalry. As a, as a reminder, I do not advocate to invest too much in artillery. Artillery is, for me, the second level of uh, arm in the army. The most important is the tanks, or uh, the cavalry in this case. So you should put more money into the cavalry and less in artillery. So that's why 700 is too much for me. Although, I have to say, 80 abilities of general with the uh, expanded to prints is already a general, so you see as a two items lot open. And then he has a salvo, which is the most important uh, with artillery leader. Artillery master, uh, sorry, artillery leader is the two more, two more most important skill. Instead, he has artillery master, which is increasing the critical strike, less important. And uh, also, uh, land fort, that's useful when you defend uh, or attack a city. Plane fight, uh, okay, it's common, and counter attack. So, overall, it's a good set of skills, I would say. But the artillery ability is on the low side. Then Ivanov, 77 in general, 58 abilities, up to king. He's already a colonel, and he has again also him as a salvo and artillery expert, which is, uh, yeah, this one, you need really a PhD to understand this one. But it's uh, basically increase the stable output of combat effectiveness by 5%. I mean, to me, I'm always a bit skeptical of this type of skill, and also he has Tactic Master, which is used for mountain fighting, inspiration, not very important. So, 700 coins as well? <clears throat> not sure. Now, let's look at the Hindenburg. This is the one I have. Okay, on top I have, a, I have a Foch, the premium general, then I have a Hindenburg, it's my second artillery. It is expensive, of course, but 85 abilities of general with the Emperor title upgrade, so that brings you to 130 ability. He's already general, so I have the two slots open already. Artillery 49, which is the average like the other, but then he has, again, a Salvo, he has a Landfort, and he has a Storm a fortification. This is when you attack the city. Okay? And then defense formation which is, again, not the most important, but still helpful. So, to me, he's a taker. And then Besseler. Besseler also has 85, 49, <coughs> so very similar skills, but only up to king, so it will be lower in terms of general ability. Uh, he's also a general, and the skill set is a bit less. He has a tactic master, salvo and storm, plane fighting and mountain fighting. Okay, so I would rather go with the Hindenburg, also because he has a salvo level 3, which is a good start. Good, last, we look at ship, it's only 2. I I'll say don't waste your money. There are a lot of good free navy. Navy, especially in the European War 6, 1914, plays a very minor role. It's not like War Conqueror, so use the free general, don't waste your money here, spend them all in the your cavalry. Said that, BT has a 77 ability in general, they can go up to Prince. And a 48 in Navy abilities only. It's a colonel. He has a line of battle, which is of course the most important, together with Navy Commander. <clears throat> Tactic. Counter-attack. So these are all very good skills. Okay, but just a question spending so much money. I've completed the game and I don't have any premium or any advanced uh, Generals, you know, my generals are Faragut and some of the blue ones. Then Hipper, already someone that looks like him, I would never buy him, but he has an 80 ability of general. He can go up to king, so overall strong abilities, and also when you see the skills, very solid. But my issue is spending coins for uh, navy generals. Okay, so. I'm very focused, I don't spend time in the things that I think are not important, so I didn't rumble too much. Uh, but speaking, just to conclude on the Navy General, I have uh, Luf, is my chief Navy General, together with the Robek. These two 
are already decent for the job required. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.